Hey guys, my name is Steniak and welcome back to Retail Tycoon. Now just before we get into it guys, I'd just like to say I'm currently on a public server and there's many reasons for this is one, I want to see everybody's shops and get some inspirational ideas but two, because my friends list is so full, only friends of me can join my private server which is, it's kind of, you know, not very nice, but this way gives me the ability for all the followers to come and join. Now, I'd just like to point out, guys, my friends list is now full, but I will be deleting some people that I haven't spied online for a while. And if you add me as a friend wearing this freaking sweet Seniac shirt, then you are more than likely gonna get accepted. So make sure you do that, guys. So, oh my god, Mr. Yanster is here. As you can see, he's not a friend, he's a follower. And he says, I'm watching your vids right now. OMG, say hey to YouTubes. I'm wrecking. Yeah. I think that's got it right. So anyway, guys, we need to actually rename the store. As you may be aware, I am renaming it every single time, each episode. And it's currently renamed to Seniac's... Uh, Dolly Jolly's Jolly Dolly store. Yes. Well, I've got a pretty sweet one Now let's get rid of this Bam 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 now this new New name is pretty funny. It's by lithium MC and they say rename it to Seniac's slightly outdoor store now I thought that was pretty funny. So slight Oh my god slide <laughs> This is where my bad spelling comes into it Slightly outdoor store. Cineag slightly outdoor store. Let's see that real. Yes, brilliant. <laughs> it's kind of true. My store is slightly outdoor. It rhymes and it shouldn't. But it does. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. So then guys, to this episode today then, what I want to get underway is... One of these new stores, now I've been thinking in my brain, we could possibly fit three stores all along the back there. Now these three stores means, we could, again, we got three stores. Now I know one of them is going to be a clove store, which a lot of you guys keep suggesting. But what should the other two stores be? So give me a suggestion down below. But before I can build it, I need to actually go to option, no not options you fool, upgrade. Buy land. I got 75 G's. So buy and buy. Yes. Have we got enough? I should have enough. I don't want to buy the remaining just yet because I want to save the money to um, continually build and stuff and whatnot. So build time. Where's the concrete? So simply concrete for now. Just so I can see what land I have purchased. Bam, 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 bam. So that's four across. So let me just work this out, guys. Four, one, two, three, four. One. Okay. Right, what if I did three across? So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And I got one left over. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Let me see, let me see. I, I gotta try and work this out how I'm gonna do it. So if I had two shops of three, and I can possibly have a shop of four at the very end. It may work, we shall see, we shall see. Um, okay, so we need to go for the 22 studs for the large glassy windows. Bam, bam. Now, I did know, I did know this coming in that these shops are going to be a lot smaller than the um, bigger shops that I currently have set up. But for a clove shop, there's not much we can actually stick in it, to be honest. Now, I've got to put the freaking um, door. Hold on, do I have to? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I just had a pretty cool idea. Um, now, if I had the, the, the shop coming down to... If I did that, hold on guys. Just, just bear with me a minute. Bear with me. I think I've got a pretty fantastic idea. It could be terrible, but we shall see. Right, if I have that coming down to there. Because what I was going to do, because the door for this is there, 
I was going to kind of limit where all the shops start, but I've just seen I could have something really good here. So bulldoze that. Um, now, do I bulldoze this or keep that as it is? Hmm. Let me think. Let me think. Right, I'm going to keep it as it is for now. So back into build then. We're going to get a big glass door. One there for that shop. I should really put one there then. And then, um, see, they will come in. And then walk into there. Is that a good idea? I don't know. We're going to play around with it and see first. So I'm going to first move some of these fridges. Rotate you. Place you over there. So this will become our clove store. So, yeah, it goes into there. Hmm. Let me just see what it's like before I go any further. If I choose not to have these. And then the entrance for the store. That... Oh, I just thought of a brilliant idea. No, 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 no. I originally said there's going to be two... Um, <laughs> this is really this is confusing me. Right, so I got a store here which is free. I said I can fit in another store of free, then the last store would be a four. But what if all the stores were free, which means we could expand this by one? No, this may sound crazy and ridiculous, like Seniac, what the hell are you talking about? But believe me, this is going to work. Okay. Okay. So we're doing some drastic changes then. So bulldoze, bulldoze, bulldoze. Yes, saying goodbye to all of it. Okay, right. You'll understand in just a moment, guys. So build mode. When the large glass windows, we're expanding the storeroom by one. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Come out. Come out, you fool. Bam. Bam. Which then means, back into build. I then got to bulldoze this. Say goodbye to it. Hasta la vista. Glass door, one there, one there. Window, bam. Running round, running round. Jump over the fridge, you fool. There we go. And then, bam, bam. So I've extended the stock room by one, meaning I can now have three equally sized shops going along the back row, which then means it also increases the stock room, meaning we can place in more stock. Now that is a bonus in itself, which we're gonna have to adjust the roof as well. So again, back, is it build that we place in the floor? It is, so let me just continue to place in this. Now I'm thinking in the clove store that we place in carpet. What do you guys think? If you think that's a smart move? Let's see. So we're placing some carpet. It's a, it's a clothes store. Fabrics and whatnot. So you kind of do want carpet. How much have I got left? I've got 50 G's left. This is going to be a pretty sweet... This is going to be a pretty sweet-ass room that we got um, set up at the moment. I'm very impressed with it. Right, we're going back in. Are we, where am I going? No, oh, that was it. I need to sort the room out. Uh, the roof. I knew I was in here for a reason. So let's zoom out. So just delete this so I can expand on what we're doing. So 22 studs. So we place in the glass. There we go. And then I need to do the simple normal ceiling. Right, so if I come out now and zoom out all the way Yes, beautiful, beautiful. Now we'll do the other roof in just a moment. I wanna place in some of the stuff, so furnish it then. So, <clears throat> um, do I place in the tables in the corners or can I do something pretty cool with this? Uh, right, let's place a table there and a table there. A table here and a table here. There may be two tables in the middle. Yes, okay, okay. So that means with those doing that, because they're so big and wide, that a normal hat rack would fit in perfect. Will it not? It does. 
So we've got quite a few more hat racks than tables, but tables hold a lot more items. So it almost kind of balances it out in the end anyway. So there's a space now either side here. Do you reckon that's fine? How did it lock with two more tables in, to be honest? Oh no, tables hold 36. Why lion fast Eniac? Now that is quite a jam-packed room, isn't it? Hmm. Right, uh, how about if I change up those two end tables to simple hat racks? I mean, it's a lot of hat, it's a lot of stuff going on in this room, isn't it? Mm -mm, I don't think I like it. Maybe placing the tables along the edges, breaking it up a bit, might work a lot more. So let's get rid of those. Furnish, we're gonna move the tables. Do you know what? Oh, this is better. This is better. Okay, okay. Furnish. Tables. I call them tables. Are they even called tables? No, they're called clothes racks because they look like tables on top. So, yeah. This walkway in the middle. It looks good. I think I'm liking it with a walkway a lot better. So, let's designate. Um, do I? I mean, I'm a second man manager. Did I? Yeah. I need to hire my manager back. Now this is what I do every time I, I'm not recording and I come in on to grind to get money, I always sack the manager. I stock up the shop completely then sack the manager so they can't order anything else and spend all my freaking money. The fools! <laughs> right, so we got our manager back so we start reordering stuff. So clothing, hats, clothing, clothing, hats, clothing. Hats, designate it all to the right stuff. Bam. Bam. And bam. Pretty good. We got it all in. I just need to order the stuff now. But before we do that, we're going to finish up the roof. So zoom back out then. Oh, said Daisy. Continuing my sweet ass theme. Get the last one in. And then the simple skylight windows. I'm not sure when it's gonna make me zoom back in. It did it there. That's fine. Is that in? Yes, it's in. Oh, sweet. We're all in, guys. We're all in. So, <clears throat> so that's pretty cool. Then. It's worked out really well because we now have this little corner section with a door for the stock room. And that's pretty sweet. It's nice and simple and out of the way and gives us enough room left for three, well, two more shops, the same size as our um, clothing store, like three kind of squares. So it's worked out pretty good. It's worked out pretty good. Um, so then it begs the question about the remainder of the floor here. Now, what type of floor should I use for the remainder of the shop? I was thinking like how we've got the marble like using marble as the pathway, but then the other rest of the floor is something else, but I'm not too sure. We're gonna have to play around with it sometime in the future. Now, um, I need to actually place in the rest of our stock room here. So, build, it's not build, furnish, <laughs> uh, storage. One, two, three, four. Now that's gonna give me so much more storage now. So much more storage. So why is the extra storage now? It's at 4,500. Holy moly. We're gonna spend a load now to actually furnish all of our clothing shop. So supply, where is it? Clothing, we'll buy 200 clothing at 8,000. Damn, son. Hats, another 200 hats as well at 12,000. It is a lot, it's a lot to take in. Which means, and I can get rid of all of these ones out here. So we're gonna, um, where is it, furnish, sell it to get some money back for them. So we got our own specialized clothing store. Now our workers are gonna take a while to place it all in, so I may help them all out, but we'll give them a chance anyway. So the main reason I'm on this public server then is to go check out everybody else's store and see if we can get some inspiration or see what they've got going on. So, let's see. We've got some pretty small stores over there. I want to check out the big ones and how they're utilizing all their space. So the Mall of Scandinavia, I am coming for you. 
I want to see what you've got going on. Where's your door? There's your door. Bam, bam, 360 no scopes. So you've got, um, it's pretty much really open. You've got the hat racks there. Um, you know, got a nice little kind of bookshelf or gaming store, little car. Oh, that's a pretty good idea. Having like a, um, a mechanic store, like a car parts store. An automobile store, that's a pretty good idea. Um, that could be one of the other two shops. So I've got two shops left. So I want you guys to give me some suggestions on what I could basically be placing in there. So Lenny's meme shop. This best be freaking sweet, Lenny. Oh my goodness. Did you hear the music? Oh mate, I'm trying to think of what that song is. I don't want to play too much in case I get some copyright strike. Hey now, you're a rock star. <laughs> is that song? Oh my goodness. Lenny, I would love to come in, but down to YouTubes, they won't let me. There's a robber here. I save you. I got him for you, dude. I got you, bro. Got you, bro. So, Seniac slightly outdoor store. We're running back. Ooh, let's check out this store, actually. Whose is this one? This one is... Um, Mark Tun E Busto YouTube. I have no idea. It says YouTube, so we could be making YouTube videos. Let's see, dude. This is actually pretty nice. Do you know what? I'm actually liking how low the roof is because it feels quite snug in here. I think my sh my stores lost their intimacy with how high the roofs are. But not bad, dude. You got a pretty good start there. Keep going. Right. Running back to the Mega Mall. Cineax. Oh, I can see a rubber in the distance. Pew! 360 no scopes. <laughs> got him. Got him, dude. Right, we're running back in. We're running back in. Jump up. Jump down. So did they restock my store? I don't think they did. Let's go back in. We're going to have to restock this ourselves, which that's completely fine. Um, so manage. Cloves. Hats. Cloves. Cloves. Hats. Clothing. To be honest, I may run out of stuff to restock everything. Yeah, I'm going to. I need to order some more clothing. Clothing time. Where's clothing? Uh, 8,000. I've got 8,000 to deal with. So much money. But just think of how much profit we're going to make. Right, make it all amazing. Is it all jam-packed? Yes! Cineac has now got a clothing store. How beautiful is that? Let's have a look. First person mode. Oh, it's amazing. We're walking through the store. This is beautiful. So then, these other two stores. So we have the opportunity to either make it like a like a, a fridge freezer kind of store with the soda and the frozen food. Not too sure if that's a good idea. We could possibly do a bookstore. We've got stuff like um, the car parts, make a mechanic store or a toy store or even a food or candy store. Uh, those possibilities are endless whatever we do. But the items that we don't choose are gonna fill up this main space out here. And we're gonna go, go completely crazy of it. And I also need to work out some form of kind of effective um, access for the self checkout and the normal checkout, some kind of tilt area. So we need to work on it. And obviously then eventually get a nice design going up. So it's gonna be pretty freaking sweet. So guys, if you wanna rename my store, in the next episode make sure you leave a comment down below and also guys oh my god rubber rubber alert rubber you can also join my group on roblox uh just simply go to groups and search Seniac as mr black blackpool transport is back again back at it again with another episode this guy with a teapot and the sweet swaggy Seniac t-shirt oh yeah 360 no scopes that rubber so guys, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you leave a big like down below. If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe. And until next time, as Mr. Blackpool says hello again, I will see you all soon. So goodbye. And we're selling PS4s, Xbox Ones, and smart TVs. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so what goes on? The display case. Video games or books? Now this is a tough decision. Do I choose books or video games? Books or video games? I mean, who reads books these days? <laughs> I'm just joking. We definitely put video games on here though. Damn. 
Um, cost, how many are you going to buy? Should we buy? All the 25? Damn, that's a lot, isn't it? Yeah, let's just do it. So video games on the shelf. What video games are there? There's Roblox, there's Goat Simulator, Garbage 